Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my 72 hour review of the Google Pixel 2 XL. Yes, and my title says it all, Displaygate. And I'm gonna start from there because that's the first thing I noticed when I opened up my Pixel 2 XL. Now, a lot of people have talked about this. Danny Wingate has talked about it a bit. I've joined him in that conversation. And I was saddened to see that it was exactly the case once I popped open my Pixel 2 XL. The fact that yes, yeah, you do have that blue tint when you kind of, you know, move your device left or right around. Uh, it also has some yellow tinting too. I haven't noticed any screen burn yet, but it is something that when you pay this amount of money for a device, about a thousand bucks for the 128 gigabyte version, you'd want, you don't expect to get that kind of screen res representation once you open it up. And to me, that's a little bit disappointing. Now, Google says they can fix this through some software updates. I do not know if that's possible, but I just want to see it solved because that, that kind of takes away from the joy of the device in terms of looking at it. Now, looking at the device as a whole though, it's a well-built device. It's really thin. It's also super light when you kind of hold it around. That's one thing you notice when you pick up the Pixel 2 XL. Yes, it's a larger device, but it's really light. Now, the back of the device, uh, of course, you do have that two, uh, tone look where of course the glass on the top it's got this kind of uh, matte feel at the bottom which I'm not a big fan of um, although it's you know it's less fingerprint touchy like other devices a centralized fingerprint sensor which is pretty fast but the main thing that actually does well on this device and everyone has praised including myself is the cameras now the rear camera and the front facing camera are really really solid. The front facing camera, especially with this front facing selfie, mind you, you do have single camera sensors, both in the front and the back, do a phenomenal job. Google has come out of just two generations and said, look, we can make photography good and we're going to do it by software because we're a software company. And that's cool. I'm glad that they're able to do that quite well. And the photos I've taken with this, uh, especially with the front facing camera, have been really solid all the way through. Uh, this is something I think a lot of people will use and use quite a bit because you can get some really stellar photos. Now the rear camera also is really good. It takes some really good shots, crisp, clean. Again, it's one of the best cameras in auto settings. Now only in 72 hours use, I have to say I have enjoyed using the camera on this device. Now in general, how's the day-to-day -day usability? Well, um, in terms of just the OS function, you're running um, you know, Android 8.0, it's fast, it's fluid, you've got that Snapdragon 835 processor, yeah, so you've got just some really good standard performance. It's four gigs of RAM, but you really won't notice unless you're doing some heavy gaming on this thing that may you might see some slowdowns might might is the key word now the other aspect of this device of course that kind of just takes me off and you guys know it quite well is of course the fact that it um, doesn't uh, have a headphone jack. Yes, Google says because of the display and also the design, um, they took away the headphone jack. So they did that. And mind you, they did not include a USB type C headphone in here. They included an adapter, yes, but I mean, come on, for crying out loud. Uh, sorry, my Xbox went off. Uh, but for crying out loud, seriously, I mean, why? not include USB type C headphones. That's what you're trying to push us to, or you're trying to push us at least to Bluetooth headphones. You really have none in the package. So to me, the experience in listening to audio has been a poor one. Uh, yes, it's got uh, some really good front fine speakers, but I don't use them. And I, I'm, I'm always out in public. I'm not gonna try and to annoy people by blasting my music off my phone. I'd rather listen to my headphones. And the fact that I have to uh, get a Bluetooth pair of Bluetooth headphones, granted, I do have them, yes, you can see, but I'm thinking about what your own use case scenario is. The fact that I can easily just plug in headphones or they don't provide any in the box to me is not a good thing. Now, uh, the other aspect I wanna talk about quickly is the squeeze functionality. I have not set it up or used it for Google Assistant, but I have found that it is quite sensitive. In my pocket, I've noticed a bunch of times, I'll pull my phone out and I'll see that it's actually been activated or it's, you know, you squeeze and hold. It will actually go ahead and do that for you. So you do have that there, like that. You know, it's, it's a little bit annoying. Um, it's something I am sure I can go ahead and turn off because I really don't like it. To me, it's just a, 
It's, it's just a non-factor. It was a non-factor with the HTC U11. To me, it doesn't make any sense here. But I will say though, the things I do like with the uh, Pixel 2 XL, it sounds like I'm putting a whole downer on this. Um, I really like the camera. I think the camera is stellar. It's really solid. I like the functionality. The battery life has also been really good on this device as well. So don't, don't I don't wanna make it seem like I totally hate the device, but there are certain things I ex expect to see from a flagship device, especially priced at 850 and above, is the fact that I would like to see a better display. I would like to see you include at least some headphones so I can enjoy audio. And I also would like to see, uh, just, just, you know, just Google, you can do better, man. Simple, that's all it is. But anyway, guys, uh, if you're looking to pick up the Pixel 2 XL and you're thinking about it, I wouldn't say you should stay away from it. I would just say that be expectant and be ready to see blue tints. Um, you know, be ready to have, uh, you know, squeezy functionality kind of act on you from time to time. Be annoyed when uh, headphones actually, uh, uh, you want to listen to music or something and you don't have headphones or the dongle is missing. And be also impressed by the very, very good camera on this device. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favor this video. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And always enjoy your answer. Do you think you might be able to tell us what's behind the